Okay, this is the last video I'll send from Sunday's game, I promise. A um, couple things that I noticed re-watching this game is our forecheck was actually better than I thought initially. Uh, the, our readiness off of a face-off I thought was really bad. As a five-man unit, even our centermen sometimes, when the puck dropped, there was so much hesitation and so much disengagement. A lot of it, a lot from our centermen, not tying up, but also our wingers letting guys blow by them especially in the neutral zone, as you'll see in some of these. And then a lot of times in our D zone, just our D sleeping, like just plain and simple. So that's something we're going to have to address Friday before the game. Um, but here's just some clips from some D stuff that I pulled. Uh, I sent this to you guys before, but this is a nice transition that we did. D to D, gets the wall. Not perfect. I really like to see that winger open up, but pretty good. Um, okay, so we got Mason coming over here, just getting into no man's land. And then going in on a breakaway, we get bailed out by our goalie. We got here, so we got Lincoln right here. If we look, we have an easy east to west here. Uh, not a single look on east to west from him in there at all. Right as he's coming up ice, he should be kind of aware that there's five guys all on the strong side. So when that puck comes across, it would be a nice easy pivot and D to D to Nagel. And then we just throw that back down the strong side. Let this play a little bit. Okay, we got, not to pick on Link, but here's Link again trying to play a one-on-one -on -one with two hands on a stick, which really kind of hinders his ability to move and be mobile and pivot. Okay, so we come back again here. You can see right here, the two-on-one. He's up, taking away ice, which is good, but just two hands, and then when he's got to pivot, just kind of unable to because the two hands on the stick. We have a very similar one coming up again to Nagel. So we stop it here. He's created turnover here. And then same thing. Okay, we have five guys on the strong side of the ice. This would be a pretty easy D to D or like just a push behind the net to Link, who's in front of the net. But we jam that up the strong side and then our winger turns it over and he comes back in our end. Uh, here's the second. Very similar play, another two on two, two on one, and Link, same thing, one hand on the stick, gets beat to his left side, and they hit the post. So on this one here, this is what I'm talking about, our, our readiness off a of face-off. Our centerman definitely does not do a good job of tying up his centerman after he wins this draw. We win this draw clean back to Harrison. Harrison also has to identify that he is under heavy pressure and make a play. Um, a little bit of speed there creates a turnover, and away they go for an opportunity on our net. This is just something that we have to clean up before Friday is the five-man unit and the readiness before the puck gets dropped. Dylan just letting his guy blow by him, not moving with him. Tough, tough, kind of tough to see there. Uh, just We just have to be a little bit better at understanding when face-offs are happening. But also on this one, Mason on this face-off win can punch that across to his partner too quick. Just not ready. Just little things. I'm being pretty picky on this stuff, but just a lot of plays. Like a face-off is going to happen 40 to 50 times a game, and we just got to stress to these guys that they need to be ready for when that puck drops. It's not, it's not puck drops and then I engage. It's I'm engaged before that puck drops.